Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Tutorials. Yes, exactly, the episode of Tutorials. Today we're going to be discussing the chemical industry. Right, first, locate the map. Perfectly fresh map, you, we usually aim to go somewhere close to the both NATO and uh, Soviet border. That's kind of important-ish, well not really actually. Uh, it's uh, just important so you can have um, better value for your dollars and rubles when you import and you're gonna be importing everything including materials and electricity. So, uh, to make this tutorial a little bit um, uh, more difficult, we're not gonna be using existing cities and we're gonna be building cities from scratch. Hopefully this is gonna be... I don't know, a little bit more interesting, a little bit harder, but we're still gonna make it. So, first things first, we're gonna need a city. Boom! City is born. Okay, <laughs> let's build this and let me show you what I did here while it's being built. So, we have a central bus stop. We have a couple of playgrounds, uh, we have two kindergartens, we're gonna have more. We have eight buildings in total, they should be unpopulated, yes they, they are. We have an ambulance, city hall, cinema, school and university is being finished right now. And we only used, we only used dollars for this, I have no idea where I used rubles, but... Well. We only use dollars for this and it should be enough for you to build a, a nice city right next to the border, uh, NATO border and Soviet border. Once this is done, I'm gonna finish the pathways, which are really, really important, I'm gonna tell you after this, and uh, see you then. Right, so this is more or less dollar-wise, we finished a couple of main pathways around the city, and we're gonna have to switch to rubles now. We have just under a million rubles, I have no idea where it disappeared, uh, probably just the corruption money. Uh, so we're gonna go for main roads through the neighborhood. Now, uh, what's what's the deal with these pathways that I'm building all the time? Pathways are important. Pathways are, and always when you're building, uh, plan ahead. Never finish, well, rarely finish with the angled pathways. Just try to connect everything um, and, and plan like it's gonna be going forever. Uh, expansion of your city, even though probably won't. So... Uh, we build mud roads everywhere. That's up to you if you're gonna upgrade them later on, but uh, this is initially for saving money, but uh, more importantly, it's... Um, we don't care. We can remove them, demolish them, it doesn't spend money. If we make any mistakes, it's easily correctable. So, first things we're gonna do is connect our little town that we have here um, to all the places here. University is the most important building here because without university you cannot have you cannot have chemistry. So, uh, just one second. Looks like he doesn't like it here. I will finish the pathways and I will be back with you as soon as we have any progress. Right, uh, this will be more or less it, and uh, if we have anything else, I'm gonna add it uh, as soon as possible. Now, the population. Population is quite, quite important. Uh, we're gonna start with... Um, uh, probably I should give them electricity first. Okay, here we go. First electricity connection is connected. We're gonna start importing electricity straight away. So import and put it just to 10%. They will suck anything that they need. Now, disclaimer, I'm using the cheapest wires. It's not a money-saving thing. It's just, I don't know, it's gonna look nicer when we have nicer numbers, but uh, probably if I was playing would have better wires, but uh, probably wouldn't start with chemistry either. No reason. I think chemistry is amazing. I'm gonna show you why. Now, the important part, population. Without uh, chemistry, you wouldn't have anything. Um, you wouldn't have. Uh, sorry, without university, you wouldn't have chemistry. So first things start first. What we're gonna do? We're gonna import in every single building here. All uh, seven. Sorry, out of eight, seven buildings, hundred people each. Just let them uh, uh, let them have a little bit more room, and we're gonna have uh, seven hundred people plus. But seven hundred first. So let's go. Ten over here. We're gonna have ten over here. There we go. 10 times 10, that's 100 people. So 100 people here, and then we're gonna go 10 times over here. We're gonna go 10 times over here. Probably shouldn't repeat the same thing all over again, because you probably already understand what's happening here. And the last one, here we go. 
this is one this building is gonna keep be empty why I'm gonna show you a trick uh, it's actually quite a good trick we're gonna transfer all the smart people into this building here uh, why this building here uh, okay so you know that we need to d discover chemistry oh wow well, we had uh, quite few smart people there uh, we need to discover chemistry so we're gonna go and transfer all the smart people over here in this initial building that we have here and uh, uh, they're gonna be working in the university so this is not gonna be enough we're gonna be importing more smart people that's a definite thing because we need more than that and we're gonna go from here and transfer all of them there there we go we have 74 smart people uh, that's pretty good now smart people are needed elsewhere they're needed in school you have professors here and they're needed as doctors in hospitals straight away limit your especially hospitals and schools to five people you can increase in this case six you can increase in needed now this town has uh, around uh, 700 people we're gonna need around 800 people i need to import 100 more people and they can all fit in this building which is which is actually not that much that not that needed so i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna import all to 189 we have <laughs> one person less and i'm gonna once again transfer all smart people and there's none left so we have 80 smart people over here and we're gonna tell them all to work in university you're gonna work in school and you work here so university is gonna be around 90 percent so we're gonna go straight away to uh 90 percent of smart 88 percent smart people working here six percent here and here so that's gonna give them enough workers to work here and here nowhere else is that needed okay everything else should be imported everything else should be fine so this is it now we have our setup we need our people to be happy so we're gonna give them electricity as well two electrical connections we're gonna be generous this time well usually we are so we're gonna get one electric electricity connection here in front of the kindergarten as one always has we're gonna go for highest voltage uh, it's not really going to be needed but uh, just in case so we're gonna go here and here and the second one is gonna go diagonally somewhere around here it's gonna be a little bit longer cable but uh, we are not really concerned about that so electricity here and we can save a little bit money if you don't know how to do it. It's zigzagging over the road. Distance between pillars is much greater. And uh, you would be saving some money if you zigzag across the pathways and roads and all that good stuff. So if you, if you know how to do this, you're going to save a little bit of money. So we can go all the way here by, with only 439 rubles. And fine. Here we go. We are finally connected and all of these buildings are built. They have electricity. They have everything they need. So people are going to go to work and all of them, absolutely 100% of prof professors are going to go and do the research. Well, 100% uh, of 80 or of 90% of, of 80 people that would be i don't know 70 let's say 70 professors we expect to work on this more or less uh the rest of the works or the rest of the buildings should be populated quite soon now we can't even start on chemical industry until we finish researching it so i'm gonna remember it's 23rd of march we start 19th of march we're gonna see what time we're gonna research this i'm, I'm gonna pause see you in a sec one other thing I wanted to point out before we research uh, everything, we have 1,191 people living in town, 1,200 people, we imported 799 people, that would be 800 people minus the one that didn't fit, but it doesn't matter. Average lifespan, lifespan 78 years, and we have 83 uh, eggheads, smart people. So uh, I'm going to find out where the three remaining are and I'm going to find them and I'm going to deport them back to this building because this is the place where all the smart people need to be. In the meantime, uh, jump cut until we research chemistry. Right, so 8th of April uh, is the day. We just researched this and we're going to go back to normal. Pause everything. Stop the presses. 10 people working here, it's perfectly fine. And uh, cancel all the requirements for people to go elsewhere. We have a little bit of an issue uh, with the temperature. That's always an issue in the beginning. We lost a couple of people, probably due to cold as well, but eight people uh, dead and four births. So that means we just open up a season 
procreation season. Uh, the important number that you have to follow here is 806. This is your workforce. And this number will not change for a year. Trust me, until the end of the winter, this is going to stay more or less stable. Your population will explode, but they're going to be babies. Okay. Uh, and by the way, big important announcement, uh, as far as I can see it here on the hardest difficulty level, one, uh, 20 days it takes for a single person to grow for a year. I will follow this uh, while I'm uh, doing this project for you. I will follow this, but heads up, 20, year, 20 days is one year. So that means 21 years is uh, 220 days. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. So, uh, 220 days, just under a year, it takes babies to grow up to be fully pledged adults. So, in just under a year, you can expect those guys to hit the labor force. Also, please keep your university staffed, but we're gonna talk about it later. And boom, you probably can't see at night here, but uh, the day is gonna dawn soon. Uh, here we go. And we have three chemical industries. Now, the thing with them, we're gonna be importing everything. Now, let me show you what I think by everything. Well, actually, I just mean everything. All of this is gonna cost in rubles, 100 rubles to import, and the price of the chemicals, which you have to export, is on the current market, let's check it here, we have chemicals 1,462 is how much you're gonna get if you export a export ton of chemicals. You need ton of these for ton of chemicals, more or less, that's it. So, that's, that's definitely worth it. It's not worth getting that small, minuscule amount of resources that uh, is necessary here, but if you have them lying around, that's not a problem. Now, chemical industry is pretty much straightforward. When I uh, started uh, doing research concerning this, I didn't expect this to be so, let's call it simple. Uh, it actually is. It's quite simple. You just need a lot of it. Each one of each factory creates only 50, uh, zero, 55, 500 kilos of chemicals or half a ton. Uh, we're going to be exporting to Soviet countries. We're going to be exporting Mopipenum. Oh, Dear Lord, what a name. Anyway, uh, we're going to be exporting them here, but first we're going to need to put our buses to work as soon as possible. We have a bus station here and bus station here. Of course, this one is not connected by pathways, and pathways are gold in our setup over here. Of course, I didn't put this stop far enough, but that doesn't matter. We can always do the other side, and we're going to do something like uh, so, and a little bit more. A little bit more and uh, of course we didn't put the uh, roads mud roads for our chemical industry we don't need to have them connected so why are they connected to this one one chemical industry can uh, drain chemicals from other chemical industries not only chemical industry any industry can chemicals are transferable here so we can load from all three factories through these industrial connections and load them all in one place this is the beauty of it and uh, we don't need any uh, cargo terminal we don't need anything like that everything is gonna be everything is gonna be resolved on its own I'm gonna connect all of this here and I'm gonna connect this one let's go for here and here that should be it <clears throat> Let's see if everything is connected. Looks like it is. Let's see if everything is in range. Looks like it is. 350 meters. Uh, they're going to walk a bit, but that's fine. Probably we can connect it this way as well, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not. But look, it's in range. It's in range. Okay, we're going to go for safe, uh, safety here. We're going to go for uh, four buses. It's not a shame to have four of them, and it's fine. Always, 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 when you start your map, name your lines. So, we're going to go for name lines, industrial. Uh, I would probably name it as Ho Jodhav. Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, I would name it like that, uh, but unfortunately I won't because we're not going to be expanding more than this. This is just tutorial. So we're going to be having a simple bus line going from here to here and off you all go. Right. And uh, this is more or less it. This is all the knowledge that there is. We're going to see how this works out. We're going to see how our population is going to progress. We don't need to upgrade this to more than, than muddy roads. It's perfectly fine. They're going to survive. The band's going to make it and all that good stuff. You can give them a couple of nice connections if you wish as an end goal. 
Um, I bought them two cars here, one of them, one fire engine there, yeah, and I cut population in half. 800 people working is gonna be more or less keeping it, uh, I don't know, 60 to 80 percent, 60 to 100 percent is never gonna be 100 percent, but that's what, what we can expect from this chemical industry, uh, production-wise. Uh, I'm gonna buy, just in case right away, another two trucks. Two trucks are gonna be initially enough because we don't produce a lot of chemicals, bear that in mind, and we're gonna be exporting them to Soviet countries. You're gonna go there, I'll wait until loaded, and wait until loaded, that's perfectly fine, and you're gonna be named Chemical Soviet Exports. There we go. And yes, and we're gonna copy this schedule to a couple of our trucks, let them go and refuel and wait for their cargo. And that's it. Now, uh, this is more or less settled. You can see our population rebounced. It was 1191, 1, 1, 1191 when we started. It's gonna go up like crazy. We still lost 24 people, but um, 80, 801. This is the number I was telling you. This is the important number. You're gonna lose some people because they're getting old. You're gonna gain some people. That Those are the kids of people that you brought initially. If all this population increase is not gonna hit the workforce for 220 days. Each time you see this number go up, that child is gonna need 220 days to, to, uh, to be old enough to go and... Uh, and hit the workforce. We're gonna have to increase the the number of workers in some of our institutions. I'm gonna have to balance that myself. Uh, cinemas, for example, they don't need more than three. Stores, 25 is too much. I would say 10 to 15. Let's be on the safe side and say 15. Of course, football pitches, kindergartens, leave them as it is. You, we gonna need two more kindergartens. I promise you that. We're gonna need two more kindergartens and I'm gonna build them. I'm gonna build them on screen or sc off screen. I'm not really sure. We'll see how it goes but I'm gonna build two more kindergartens remember there's one here there's one here we're gonna have two at least if not three more kindergartens vanilla kindergartens are crap but anyway uh, right 19th of April that's one month after we started this game uh, the factories are smoking and we have we have first chemical truck ready to go I'm gonna let them go, I'm gonna, from now on, uh, the only expenses I expect to have, I really don't know, but uh, all expenses I expect to have would be kindergartens and, I don't know, maybe football pitch or something. I don't see anything else being an issue, so expenses are gonna be food, electricity, chemicals, and let's see how it goes. So, this year, we imported all of this. This is construction, gravel, and all that good stuff. Uh, the important part we're gonna follow are crops, oil, wood, and gravel. Gravel, of course, 19th of April. Remember, from 1st of May we're gonna do our mats, because from 1st of May it starts counting, because we used whole bunch load of gravel to construct these roads, but from 1st of May, see you in a few months. Okay, here we go. 18th of September. In just one day, it's gonna be six months since we started this game, and we're gonna go through the statistics. So, bang, pause. Right, I did a little bit of uh, testing, and I found out that uh, 22, 23 days takes uh, for a person to gain one year, but it's still up in the air. Please test that yourself easily when you have everything set up like I do here. Uh, press the person and just watch it until he gets uh, one year older, and then follow how many days it's gonna take him to get another year. I think it's around 23 days, but uh, don't get my... Uh, test it yourself. So it's 230 days uh, plus 23, 23, that would be, let's say, 50, that would be 46, and that would be 276 days uh, in-game days takes for a person to gain uh, from 0 to 20 years, right? I have no idea how I calculated that. Probably not. Probably not. It, no, it's 20 years, 21 years, so you need uh, 20 times 20... Ooh, 400 days. Okay, we're, we're... Okay, so 23 days is one year. Right, uh, what do we have here? Let's start with the finances, right? Okay, so we're gonna do finances only going back to May. 
by May because after May we didn't have any significant, we did, but not significant construction. So we can see our finances. Since May, that would be May, June, July, August, uh, and uh, so half of September, but let's say four, four and a half months. In four and a half months, we earned 153,000. That's including two kindergarten constructions, which are like 6,000 each, but we're not gonna count that. Uh, let's see our expenses. So we're gonna skip, skip gravel again. We're gonna skip gravel because gravel is used for construction of kindergartens, but I think it would be more or less in the same ballpark like wood, crops, and gravel would be more or less the same price. Now, the other, the other uh, culprit here is oil. Oil is the first thing you can tackle if you want to lower the, if you want to lower the costs for for your production. You can see here that you have 163 and 163 tons of wood. This is how much wood and uh, crops you used for this and the oil is of course double that so oil is something that you can tackle if you want to produce your chemicals and i think one oil well uh, with a decent production would be fine for three factories so even if you search for oil let's see if we by any chance have anything just here on the other side of the city i think something like this would be perfectly fine for supplying all of your needs for oil let's see where this oil source yes of course if you place it here i think this would give you definitely more than three tons of oil a day right so finance financially uh, financial wise um let's see what months say so let's go for last month august is a nice an example nice example we have twenty nine thousand. we had up to forty thousand income but i would say thirty thousand is something that thirty to thirty five thousand is something that you can expect on a monthly basis pure income that's counting the life exp life expenses electricity and everything that you need so this basic setup of industry including heating bear in mind we didn't go through the winter winter there's gonna be snow buses will be slower you're gonna need to implement technical services and uh, probably heating is gonna go up probably i'm not 100 percent sure and also your exports are gonna be slower because of the snow on the roads you can up upgrade the roads or you can clean the roads or you can do both that's up to you okay i built a huge forest here and probably you noticed but i'm gonna show you this chemical industry and coal heating is very very dirty you can see here that it almost uh, engulfs half of our town so uh, you don't have these pure green colors are here almost to the center of town so half of our town is kind of polluted or at least affected by pollution i can guarantee you this with this average lifespan because whenever i play without providing people with alcohol like we didn't do here we have lifespan over 82 83 years all the way to our 86 years lifespan this is a decent lifespan it's not 60 years it's 77 78 but i would suggest to move this city just once it over just a little bit further from the pollution i tried to build this big forest but i don't I don't think it actually works that well at least not pine forest for some reason maybe i'm placing it wrongly maybe we need different trees but it doesn't really help with the pollution and demographics like i said just under 2000 people and i had to build four kindergartens we have one two three and four everything you see here is vanilla i didn't do a, use a single mod i didn't use anything like that everything is just vanilla as the god provided us to us or developers in this case <laughs> anyway uh, statistics yes i said we had around 800 uh, workers 802 800 something like that we gained around 50 workers i had to employ some of them in the kindergartens of course and i had to increase the number of people in universities professors in universities and i had to increase the number of doctors cinema still has three people and i think shopping center is still a shopping center was always high but that that can that can be down to 15 it would be easily done our factories are mostly running on uh, over 60 percent this is this is about what they were running more than that definitely more than that in average so uh, there was just two trucks going there and back there and back with uh, minimum stops just to fill in and maybe another half a ton or something so this was uh, this is a really really good setup heating wise i don't know you have to survive until winter and see if this setup works usually i have two different pipes that definitely works better if you have two different pipes to every one of the exchangers and uh, that's about it chemical industry
chemistry, is it worth it? Definitely yes, it wouldn't be my first choice. But you don't make chemicals to export them. You can, but you don't. Chemicals are needed so much for your other industries that you need, for clothing, for car industry, for everything else. You have nuclear industry everywhere. You can use chemicals and chemicals. You would be producing it for yourself, not for exports. That's it. I don't know what else is to say. I hope this helped a bit. Uh, I definitely opened my eyes. I did a lot of testing. I did this several times. There's a test if everything works. Um, what can you do next? Well, you can cut down on the fuel costs. So that would give you some money. Not a whole lot. Let me show you this one more time. Um, if you go all the way back to 1st of May, uh, or your expenses for oil are only 17,000. And if you go back and see your earnings of 150, so this year uh, your earnings will be 254,000. That means it's uh, less than 10% of your earnings goes towards oil. And in general, less than 10% would go to all the expenses you have. Actually, just a little bit more than 10% would go to whole expenses of production of this, including electricity, between 10 and 15%. And the uh, rest of it is pure profit. Of course, you have to pay for the fuel for transporting those chemicals out, but uh, this close to the border, uh, anything goes. Right, that's it. Guys, I hope you liked it. If you enjoyed it, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. From now on, these series are going to be on Fridays. So, happy weekend, happy Friday, and I hope you're going to have a nice weekend. I'm going to continue recording our regular series, and in this special, see you on Monday. Guys, have a nice one. Bye-bye.